James Neal is in the building and getting set to take on Toronto. The Penguins forward is having a breakout year with 30 goals and 32 assists. As a result, he's been rewarded with a six-year $30 million deal. And he is the subject of tonight's NHL 36. What a difference a year can make. Last season, James Neal was a star in Dallas. Now he's a pillar in Pittsburgh. And the 24-year-old they call the real deal just signed a new deal. Hey, 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 hey! The unlikely and unusual world of hockey's newest $30 million man. Next on NHL 36. Half past nine on a frosty Saturday morning just outside of Pittsburgh. Penguins all-star James Neal has been up for 15 minutes and is foraging for food. Going over to Paul Martin's house for uh, a little breakfast, uh, afternoon game today, so um, have a little eggs and uh, good coffee here. Did you eat already? For Neil, Martin, and the Penguins, the next 36 hours will be full of hockey. Tampa Bay this afternoon, and then Columbus tomorrow. Are the eggs? Well, too runny? Mm -hmm. Good. The busy weekend makes the hearty breakfast all the more essential. Polly's breakfast, if it goes bad, it's all Polly. A lot of pressure. He seems to be doing well no matter what he eats, so I don't think it's the food. <laughs> On game days, the Penguins' official dress code calls for business attire. But for James Neal, no outfit is complete without the perfect look up top. I don't like washing my hair. I wash probably maybe once a week, but I shouldn't say that on camera. Guys are going to be all over me for that. I don't want to lose my hair. And then that takes the, the natural grease out of your hair when you wash it. So I try to stay away from that so I can have my hair as long as possible. The first time Neil walked into the Penguins' dressing room was a little over a year ago, when he was traded in the middle of last season from the Dallas Stars. He struggled after the move, scoring just one goal in 20 regular season games with Pittsburgh. This year, however, the story has been very different. Neil is an all-star and fourth in the league in goals scored. And just a week ago, after scoring his 30th goal of the season, Neil signed a new $30 million contract that will keep him a Penguin for the next six years. Since I've been here, the longest contract that we've given is Mark andre Fleury at seven years. And the two key guys, the original draft picks of the Penguins, you know, Crosby and Malkin are five-year deals. And so, you know, James Neal coming in after one year, getting a six-year deal, that is a big commitment on behalf of ownership. You know, you have to be confident when you commit to somebody six years that hopefully you have the right person, they're here for the right reason, and I'm confident he's the right guy. Wait, How'd you like so? You, you look terrible. How'd you like so? like someone ran me over. <laughs> you know, everything just kind of, you know, worked out perfect. And being a part of Pittsburgh and everything here, it was a perfect setting for me. It's definitely a, a family atmosphere and everyone cares about each other, uh, so it's a good feeling. <laughs> Just about an hour before the puck drops, Neil and the Penguin family head to the hallway for a familiar pregame ritual. Yeah, well, it's called two touch. You give it to the next guy, and the guy messes up or something, and doesn't get it to the next guy, then, then he's out. Oh, yeah. Good players are Evgeny Malkin and Chris Kunitz is really good. The bad players are myself for sure. I haven't ever won. I'm terrible. He's probably the worst player. He's got bad hips. He can't go sideways. James is pretty much the uh, little brother that we like to mess with. 
think guys like to play pranks on him. He's just an easy target. Like, you always, yeah, want to, you know, trip him up walking down the hall or play jokes on him. He's just the youngest brother that everybody picks on. Hopefully they all love their little brother, because day to day, is, you know, you come in the room and you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> that like to do a few pranks. Unlucky. There's always a joke going on somewhere. <laughs> it's a quick takedown. First of the year. Cameras are here for him, so. First of the year. You know, to live, uh, live your life every day like that is uh, pretty awesome. With 40 minutes to game time, pads and uniforms are donned. And Neil has one last shot at getting the hair just right. The hair. He really seriously thinks he's got sick hair. Sick and he's blow drying it. He's working on it quite a bit. He uh, doesn't wear his helmet in warm up too, so he needs to fix it before going out. I uh, basically gotta rub my stick a little bit in there to, to make it a little more spikier before we go out, so. Your hair is pretty average right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Fix it. All right, good. Pre-game warm-ups offer fans their first glimpses of the team on the ice, and players their last opportunity to loosen up and keep the mood light. Oh yeah, dude! For once they head back to the dressing room, the focus abruptly sharpens. Physical early on. Invest in our game here. Right, we're going north, we're going fast, be physical. Play with our speed, execute. They're coming quick in the neutral zone. Be ready to go quick. At our pace, Joey V, get a piece of them. Play the pace they can't keep up with. We are going with 14, 71, 18, 44, 4. Flowers in the cage here, Black. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If you get underneath the hair and the quirky smile and the carefree way, he comes and goes. Uh, there's a lot more there. The mentality of which he works and approaches the game is the thing that stands out to me. James is not about scoring goals. He's about our team winning hockey games. Thanks, dude, for saving that one. He's a great player. He definitely works hard. He's physical. He hunts the puck extremely well, and he's smart, smarter than people think. Hey, you can give that to me if you want. I'm just going to stop and go probably back this way. Neil is one-third of what may be the best line in all of hockey, alongside Chris Kunitz, an MVP candidate, Evgeny Malkin. Hard work by Neil to maintain possession of the puck. And on this afternoon, the line quickly validates their reputation with authority. Malkin behind the net. Quick shot by Kunitz. He scores! Yeah! Nice shot. A little more than halfway through the first period, Neal and the Pens lead 1-0. The tone's set, but the game far from over. again score the first goal against the Lightning and take the lead here. It took the Penguins about 11 minutes to score the first goal in their Saturday matinee against the Lightning. No, you're good, Dealer. No, you're good, kid. It takes only another 50 seconds to light the lamp again. Bounces right to the feet of Tuck and he shoots and scores. Matt Tuck had enough on him to jam it past Rollison. Oh, my God. Another goal Get there. soon follows. Yeah. A chance for stop. Hit on the goal. Scores! That's unbelievable. Nice hands there, Stalzy. The first period ends with the Pens comfortably leading three to nothing. Not that you'd know it from the sentiment in the dressing room. Keep playing our game, or we can be better at our game. We weren't that good for the first. 10 minutes or so of that period. Make sure we're in on the four check. Make sure we're physical on these guys. Let's play. At our game, you're our pace here for the second. Gino, your line's starting to see James Neal opens the second period on the ice. Hey, 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 hey! 
eager to add to his league-leading tally of shots on goal. I like to shoot the puck and score, that's for sure. There's Neal! Rip that puck just wide of the goal. He's not a guy I don't think picks the corner an awful lot. He rips it. He's got a great release. He gets it on net quick. Look at that face off. Walking to Neal and holy moly. His main thing is he's a pure shooter, pure goal for A uh, guy that can score from everywhere on the ice. His wrist shot is probably the best that I've seen in my career. Midway through the second, Neal still hasn't found the back of the net. Hit the net. But his setup abilities are unaffected. Look at the play, Neal on Brewer, a defenseman caught down. That finds Stahl, Hedman backing in. Stahl comes ahead. Sullivan, Stahl, score! From there, the route is on. Kunis, the Malkin, a shot, he scores! With the highlight of the afternoon coming from Evgeny Malkin. Malkin, galloping. Malkin to the goal, score! He took it from one end to the other. You don't see a move like that very often. Malkin goes on to net a hat trick, with his third goal coming on Neal's third assist of the game. Malkin to Neal, shot save, rebound, score! The scoring spree puts Malkin atop the NHL leaderboard and moves Neal into the top 10. As the Penguins win 8 to 1. It doesn't matter whether we win this game 8 to 1 or 2 to 1. Play another team tomorrow. They're going to come out. They're going to play real hard. Back at it tomorrow. Real focused on how we play. Great win. Back at it tomorrow, 1 o'clock. After a game like this, the Pens and their followers are all smiles. And as Neil leaves the arena to head to an early dinner with visiting friends and family, his Penguin family gets the last laugh at Little Brother's expense. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to get that off. You guys got some scissors for me? Awesome. Now I got to get under there. Oh my God. Pascal the Peter and Deborah Neal live six hours from Pittsburgh in Ontario, Canada, where their son James often battered the garage door with his slap shot. They've brought along some old friends and their son's former coach, coming together to celebrate not simply a win, but James's new six-year, eight-figure contract. Congratulations on your future, by the way. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah, it's great. When everything got done, and I just texted my dad and said, uh, Dad, the deal's done. I signed uh, for this and that. And it was a good feeling, you know, and Dale never forget. That's what James going to do is buy me a new garage door. The door I, is demolished. Garage door, every time I, they put a puck through it, I just patch it up. <laughs> <laughs> Something bad. No, we're just shooting pucks against your garage door now. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Your wrist or might not even go through it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun for me to be able to take uh, you know take friends and family out for dinner and just have a have a good time. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks a lot. That's cool. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. On this night, there'll be no arguing over who picks up the check. No, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate it. All good. The group heads home full of pride and steak. A good night's sleep awaits before the puck drops again the next afternoon. Nine forty a.m. Sunday morning at the home of James Neal. A 3,000 square foot house of which Neil uses only a fraction. But the extra space can come in handy when mom and dad spend the night. Can you show up peanut butter or just butter? Yeah, I'll peanut butter, please. Paulie made breakfast yesterday. Paul did? Oh gosh, he probably could teach me a few things. Yeah. Mrs. Neil has fixed a full spread, despite having only so much to work with. There's nothing in there. You got Cook some, there's some, of beer. There's some beer. <laughs> After breakfast, it's time to get ready for the game. 
with top. Then comes the next task, picking out his Sunday best. I think my favorite color is probably purple because that's what I usually uh, usually go with. I got a good one to go with my Sunday suit here. You guys give me a little razzing for this one, but it's all right. I like it. All right. Let's see you, Mom. Yeah. This is kind of a good view of Pittsburgh. You always come in. This is where I first came in and everything. And got Heinz Field to your left and PNC Park and going over the over the river. So it's pretty cool, cool coming into the, the ring. As Neil approaches the arena, an investigative mission is plotted to determine which teammate strung the bottles to his car the day before. I'm not going to say anything and just uh, walk around, see how many guys give me a look, and then I'll, I'm sure I'll have some suspects. I mean, when in doubt, blame Duper or me. When in doubt, blame Duper or me. Like me, yeah. You're on camera doing it. I haven't done anything to you. 100% it wasn't me. With the investigation unsolved, it was time to shift focus to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Let's start the game here our way here. We need someone to set the tone of how we play, execution level and battle level. Right off the hop, right 10 minutes of the game, we're playing our game. Play at a pace they can't play here. We're going with 24, 46, oh, 27, yeah. 44, yeah. 4. Yeah. Brad Tisa in the cage, gentlemen. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The final rituals are the same for every game. Right. Let's go. Don't be scared to get another one, eh? Don't be scared to get another one. Capped by a swipe from Evgeny Malkin at the opponents listed on the board. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And then, it's game time. Columbus has arrived in Pittsburgh with the league's poorest record, which might give the Pens ample confidence at the start. But that's a coach's worst nightmare. We certainly don't want to look at their spot in the standings and think that we can just put on the uniform and, and get two points. Gino's line here, Gino's line now. They've been playing really hard and really aggressive. They're coming out hard. There. Both guys, their wingers are both are coming okay, hard. Okay, okay. Deep. Gino, Malkin swooping in. Neil, a shot. We certainly can't be caught uh, thinking we're, we're playing a team that's not going to be playing real well. Dust here you go. Seven. I'm going to pass it to the D this time. Ernie, you're shooting this one in the net. The first period is, in fact, marked by its intensity. Another bang, and Malkin with a little shot. Nash with a cross-check, and look at the battling. You're still a loser here now. You're a loser here. And for the Penguins, rookie goaltender Brad Thiessen appears undaunted by his first career NHL start. Johnson now centers right to the net. Big save by Thiessen. Oh, yeah. The Penguins are up on the bench right now, tapping. The game is scoreless after 20 minutes of play. During intermission, coaches go over strategy in the back offices, while players maintain focus in the dressing room. Intermissions are pretty quiet. You try to stay in the zone and you know, get your head back into it and start fresh. That's a good thing about hockey. You can have five bad shifts, but you had a ton left, so you can switch your game around pretty quick. We gave up seven odd man rushes that period. All right, we can't be giving up those kind of chances, those type of things for that team. Take care of the puck here in the second period. Better changes. Shoot every puck on this guy. Here we go. Here we go. Stalls are starting. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. With a renewed sense of urgency, James Neal and the Penguins take the ice for the second period. Go, team! Here's Malkin on his backhand, a save made by Sanford. Hey, he's holding my fing stick the whole fing time. But halfway through, it's Columbus who strikes first. Now he's got an opportunity. Nash to the goal, scores! 
So the Jackets get the first goal. That For James Neal, the 36th hour of a long weekend of hockey is drawing near. And his team now needs him to do what he does best. Score. So the Jackets get the first goal. They're hanging around in this game. My boys, come on here! Halfway through the second period, the story of the Penguins Blue Jackets game is a surprise. One of the league's most explosive teams is being shut out. Ah. And the club with its poorest record is winning 1 0. Stay together here, man. James Neal and the Penguins continue to attack. Neal centers. One timer. Kunis is blocked. And continue to be rebuffed. Sullivan a shot. A glove save made. I'm trying to get it to you as best as possible. With just seconds to go in the period, Neal finds Evgeny Malkin open. And the Penguins finally break through. Neal to Malkin, the shot's gone. Evgeny Malkin flips one in. And after the second intermission, the Pens come out shooting in the final period. Battle at the net! The we shot, let's go! Three, two. Three unanswered goals put the game away for the Penguins. Nice shot, Tanner. We had to bear down, and uh, they played us hard all night, and you know we had a great third period. Final score: Penguins four, Blue Jackets two. <laughs> Lunchbox. This is Brad Thiessen, first one. Oh, In the dressing room, rookie goalie Brad Thiessen receives the coveted lunchbox for a win in his NHL debut. Oh. And a shaving cream pie in the face for good measure. Great third period, power play, day off tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. For James Neal, there is much to celebrate. Two back-to-back -back games here, so it was good to get uh, four points and uh, move up in standings a bit. Not a bad 36 hours. I never thought I'd be sitting here, uh, you know, doing this when I was playing games in Dallas last year, but uh, I find myself a new home and here in Pittsburgh, and uh, it's been a huge change and, uh, you know, a great change at that. Now we're, here we are. I got a six-year contract with Pittsburgh, so it's, uh, things couldn't work out any better. Thank you. Thank you. Couldn't have asked for, for to be in a better situation and in a better spot. At 24 years of age, with a starring role on a playoff bound team, Neil's future is full of expectations and possibility. A future that will likely feature plenty of scoring, ample helpings of hair gel, and an occasional glance under his car. Just in case.